Okay, we're back. We, in this lesson, are going to be controlling this piece of geometry. It's actually just a cube, really easy. I named it um, D6. And we're going to control its uh, rotation. So if we were to rotate it 90 degrees, for example, turn into 5. Um, the mail command for that is set adder. Then you call the... Um, object name and the attribute name that you want to change, and then the value you're going to change that attribute to. Um, it's going to be slightly different in Python. So an easy way to discover if you know how to do it physically inside of Maya, uh, one way, just do it once. It gives you the mail command. And then you can go to the Python command reference. And when you do that, we can type in that command and select it. And then it gives us a whole bunch of um, stuff that we can do with that code. Uh, over here, we have a list of flags that we can use with it. And finally, we have example code that we can run with it. Um, so we'll go on show you guys how to use that within our code. But if you had to find out how to do something in the future on your own pieces of code, you can do it that way. So let's exit out of that. And let's go back to our code. So in here, we're going to add another function that's going to determine the rotation that we are going to want. I like to... Uh, put all my functions at the top before I um, do the main section of code. It just makes it a little bit more organized. Um, also, it will, in the future, when you got a lot of functions that are working with each other, it just works better. So uh, put all your functions up on top. Um, so we're going to create a function here, and we are going to call it uh, rotate die and then we're going to put information um, in here for the rotation die. Something else that we're going to need to do is we're going to actually be using Maya commands in this project so we need to import the Maya commands which is maya.cmds um, I find that that could potentially be a lot to type when you have to type it over and over again inside of Maya. So I like to use the shorthand um, as MC. So now instead of having to type out all of this, I can just do MC. Um, it does the same thing. If you look at the example files inside of the Python command reference, um, they'll actually be using CMDS. Um, but for my lessons, I feel like it even shorter, so I'm just going to do MC for my command. Okay, so in this one, we're actually going to give it an argument. And in this argument, we want to get this role value that we used in the previous one. Although this is just going to be a placeholder here, so it doesn't have to be named role. Um, and typically, I don't like to name it the same thing because in the future, we can actually use the functions like this over and over for different uses. Um, so I'm just going to call it role value. Um, and we'll look at how we'll get this role into the role value in a little bit. But let's look at what we're going to do. Again, indenting because we want the information from this function to work with uh, all everything that's indented is going to be rolling working with this function here and we're going to start off with our first if statement um, if statements are conditions if the conditions are met then the um, information is going to be outputted to or it's going to run that command. So we'll look at this. So if the role value is equal to 1. 
Uh, so we're getting the row value, whatever is going to be inputted here is going to be equal to one. So if this condition is true, then we're going to run whatever is in the code for this statement. Something else to consider is that we're using two equal signs. Um, this is important because we're checking a condition. If we actually put one equals, we're going to change the value and then it will automatically become true, which is not what we want um, when we're doing condition where we're checking to see if the um, statement is true. We're going to use two equal signs rather than one. So indenting is going to know that all, everything that belongs to this if statement is going to run um, based off of whatever is indented. And I'm going to call the MC library set adder. And the attribute we want to change is the six dot rotate x and then we're going to put a comma and after that we put the value we want to change it to in this case is zero um i know this value because i took the time and um rotated my cube around to see what rotation values i'm going to need for everything to get the specific numeric values um but we do need the x, y, and z rotation values. So I am going to create this three times. Um, so x, y, and z. And in this case, the actually, before I give it any values, I'm just going to copy this. It's going to make it a little bit easier for me. Copy it six times. That's two, three, four, five, six, and um, all of these conditions we need to change for the specific numeric value of the die. So two, three, four, five, and six. Then we need to set the rotation values. So for rotate C, that's going to be 180 for one. Um, on this one, we're going to be at 270 for two. Uh, for three, we are going to be at 90. For four, we're going to be at 270 for X. For five, we're going to be at 90. And for six, we're going to stay at zero value. So that should uh, give us the rotation values that we need for each side of the rotation of the geometry in our scene. And that's specifically for my die. Um, once you create your own die, it might be different depending on how you decided to texture it. Um, but that's how you would do it. Um, I'm also assuming that you do know how to create the a cube and that you know how to texture the cube. Um, if that is a problem for many of you guys, just comment down below and I'll do a short tutorial on how to create a die and texture it. But it should be pretty simple and if you're actually doing Python scripting inside of Maya, you're probably at an advanced level level where you know how to do that. Uh, but if not, just let me know, comment down below, and I will um, create that new tutorial for you guys. So here we have the function. Um, we actually have to run it now. So after this, after we get the roll value, we want to do um, rotate die. And inside of its arguments, we're going to put role. So that's how it knows that role is going to be equal to role value, is because we're telling it down here in the main section of the code. So if we copy all of this, it should work, hopefully. Let's test it out. And let's paste it here and run it. 
and we can see each time we have a different value when we roll the dice, it is changing the geometry here. And um, just like before, we can actually um, put that on the shelf and do it with a button click instead of having to run the code manually over here. And we can customize the button and do whatever we want for that. So um, that's how you start controlling geometry inside of the um, Maya scene with Python, and also a short discussion on if statements, um, at least the beginning of a discussion on if statements. So, yeah, we'll see you in the next lesson.